So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're gonna farm Berserker and Quick Thinking. Why would I put those two mods together? Well, because they drop from the same enemy, which is unfortunate. And why is it unfortunate? Well, because those are two very rare mods and they drop from an uncommon enemy. So long story short, they are a pain in the arse to farm. So the mob we're looking for is the Corrupted Ancient and those guys spawn in every single Void mission. But instead of running Tower 1 Exterminate, we want to run something where we can farm them really well. Which means survival. And why survival better than defense and interception? Well, first of all, you need Necros. Okay, you're farming an uncommon enemy and you are trying to get a rare mod off of him. So desecrating is a big plus. And Necros isn't the best frame for defense or interception. He's not bad, but, you know, you can bring better frames. But for survival, if you bring Necros, you don't have to worry about life support at all. So your only objective will be, well, don't die. And that's huge because you can focus on other things, like farming Corrupted Ancients. Now, Necros isn't the only thing you can bring to increase your chance of getting this mod. You can bring Slash-based weapons. Alright, so something like the Soma or Bratton and Bratton Prime I think are slash based as well. Most of the melee weapons are slash based and for secondary weapons you can bring the Axemati. Because there is a chance that when you kill an enemy with a slash based weapon, you will decapitate them. You can cut them in half, you can cut off their limbs and Necros can desecrate each limb separately. And some people still don't believe this. They think it's bullshit but I finally caught it on camera so watch this corrupted ancient. I cut him in half or half, he just explodes into noodles. Then I desecrate two life support packs out of one Corrupted Ancient. So there you go, you saw it with your own eyes, it works. So that's what you wanna do. You want to bring slash based weapons. Now it doesn't matter what tier of survival you're doing because the Corrupted Ancients will show around the five minute mark and it doesn't matter if you're doing tower one, two, three or four. So it's all up to you. If you want something from Tower 3 survival, you can do that. But if you just want to farm the Corrupted Ancients to get the either Quick Thinking or Berserker, just farm Tower 1 survival because it's really easy to stay there for one hour plus even if you're going solo. Now I'm not saying that the other missions are bad, you can still do defense or interception or even capture, I'm just saying survival is better because if you have Necros, you don't have to focus on the objective, you don't have to defend anything, you don't have to capture anything, all you have to do is survive. Just don't die and farm the Corrupted Ancients for as long as you can. Now just in case you're curious, there is an annotation on the screen which will take you to my Necros build, it will open it in another window, don't worry, it won't close this one. And that's pretty much it for the Corrupted Ancient or Berserker and Quick Thinking farming guide. So I thank you very much for watching once again. Now, if you're having trouble with farming anything in Warframe, first check out my Warframe farming playlist. The link is in the description below this video. And if you can't find the video there, feel free to post it in the comment section as a suggestion. And I will see you, as always, next time. Bye-bye.